Okay, in this video, I'm going to show how I do the leg here and then around the bum area. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, let me turn this off, I'm going to come down kind of where it curves here, where the belly here to their leg, and I'm going to come down at an angle about this far. He can kind of already see the outline with his furry hair here. So I'm going to clip right down like that and around the curve here. I have to be careful because Mickey had his uh, shots and he's got a little bump right here still left over from where he got his shot. It got a pretty big bump there. I think that was his rabies shot, his three-year rabies shot, and it really got a big bump. I'm going to come around this curve right here, and this too, I don't go straight, I do like an angle, so it kind of blends in better. Okay, there's that. Hopefully you can see the line right there. Now I'm gonna do Miggy's tail. Which, this is the part the dogs hate the most. Their butt area. Their tail, I just kinda lift the tail up. Kinda turn it to the side. And this is the area you got to be really careful. Anywhere around the butt area. And I come down around the side. And they're, in the back of the end of their bum area, you're going to see that their hair grows. Um, it swirls, it moves different. You kind of got to go with the way the hair is laying. Or else you're going to end up getting these bald spots. I learned that when I first started grooming my dogs. Lift the tail up. Be careful around their butt area. The butt hole. <laughs> and I kind of come around it kind of like how the tail curves. You don't want to nip them. At the end of their tail. You gotta be very patient. You can't you can't rush on this area. And then let me get this little spot right here. And then when I do by their the butthole, you've got to be very careful. You can't just push up against the skin and pull off. Kind of pull up the tail, keeping it away a little, and get that here. Go very slow. You do not want to nick them here. This is the part that scared me to death when I first did their, started cutting their hair. I was so scared. If you have an antsy dog, your dog that isn't going to hold still for you in this area, um, maybe, uh, Scissors with the rounded um, edges on the scissors kind of just clip around there. Um, but I've been doing this on my dogs for a while, so they're pretty they're pretty still. And you need a steady hand um, when you're doing this area. You do not want to nick that area at all. talk to him. Tell him it's okay. I'm not going to hurt him. Just cleaning it up. But like I said, the hair. Let's see if I can show you guys this. Okay. The hair around the butt area kind of swirls. As you can see in different, I haven't cut this part yet. 
swirls in different ways. So you need, it kind of goes this way, goes this way. You need to kind of take your clipper and go with the way the hair is laying or else you're gonna get a big bald spot on the back end of their butt area. But you can see here, there's still a little bit of hair there. I get as close as I can. You don't have to get all the way down. And like right here, it swirls up. So you kinda wanna keep your clipper going the same way as the hair or else you're gonna get a bald spot. And here, here's the side of the leg. You can kinda see right here where it gets fluffy. Let me see if I can straighten him out. Right here is where I go start cutting and come down on the leg. And just kind of come around the side. But that's how I do the top part of the leg and around the butt area. I'm going to finish up the other side and then his butt area and I'll be right back. Okay, got the butt area all cleaned up. And I'm going to show you how I kind of do under the leg here. I take the leg, lift it up, and I cut all the hair right under here. They call this the sanitary cut, I guess. I kind of go, oops, to where the leg bends right here. I cut all I cut all that hair right up in there. Let's see if I can do this side without blocking the whole camera. You want to be careful under here too. My dogs are neutered, so they have nothing hanging there. Mickey fights me a little. You can kind of see where it bends because he ain't letting me pull that leg straight. You're okay. So there you go, this is all cleaned out here. Now I've never done a dog that is not neutered, so um, I have no clue on how that would go, but I just clean up right under here in their whole tush area. It's nice and clean. Um, the next video I'll probably do, um, the next part, hmm, maybe like the front chest area and more around the neck area.